Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this afternoon to first say thank you. What a day thus far, but I praise and thank you for your mercy and grace toward me. I repent for the things that I have said, felt in my heart, thought, and done on today that were not at all pleasing in your sight. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that the goal is never perfection. Your word says the righteous man falls down seven times but gets back up again. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that is a powerful enough to wash away every sin, past, present, and future. Father, on this afternoon, October 17th, I pray that you would deliver the body of Christ from the bondage of unforgiveness. Father, the enemy wants to saddle us with offense, unforgiveness, and then ultimately bitterness, which defiles the soul. Father, I pray for every brother and sister in Christ who is struggling to forgive on today. I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken through gossip and slander. I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken through infidelity. I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken by unmet expectations within a relationship. I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken by harsh words and insensitivity. I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken by church hurt. I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken by abuse. I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken by rejection and abandonment. And I pray that you would heal every heart that has been broken by cruel treatment due to jealousy. Father, on today, there are so many in the body of Christ bound by unforgiveness. So many who are in captivity due to being offended by another. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would remind those who are in need that forgiveness is mandatory for the children of God. In order for us to receive forgiveness from you, we must be willing to freely forgive the transgressions of others. In fact, Matthew 18, 22 is a reminder that there is actually no limit to the amount of times we must be willing to forgive another. I pray on today that by the power of the Holy Spirit, your sons and daughters would be able to permanently release the baggage of unforgiveness that has been weighing them down and defiling their souls. I pray that you would minister peace to their hearts. Many believe that they need an apology or some type of changed behavior in order to forgive and move on, but this is not true. Forgiveness is a choice and there is no long process, process needed in order to do it. So on today, I'm praying that the long held grudges and the feelings of discontentment toward others would dissipate even now by the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, it's not easy walking in the ways of Christ, but you have given us the helper in order to be able to do so. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would pour out an additional measure of agape, unconditional love on your church at this time. Sometimes it can be so difficult to forgive people who show absolutely no remorse for what they've done. And sometimes it can be difficult to forgive people who have done something so evil when you haven't done anything to even slightly deserve their treatment of you. But Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that we, your church, would always remember how many times we've come before your throne to ask for forgiveness, expecting to receive your grace and mercy. Help us to never be too hurt or too prideful to extend the same forgiveness we need from you to someone else. Most of all, help us to always put our personal situations in perspective. You don't want us to trivialize or minimize the impact of being hurt. Um, you know that sometimes, depending on the situation, it can hurt a lot. Help us, Lord God. Help us in those moments where we are feeling um, angry, where we are feeling violated, where we are feeling offended, disgusted, that we have been treated a certain way. Help us to remember why it is so important for us to release the grudge, not be angry, not withhold forgiveness. You want us to remember the example of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you would help us to remember the example of Jesus Christ each and every day. As they beat him, mocked him, put a crown of thorns on his head, nailed him to a cross and cast lots for his clothing, he asked you to forgive them for they knew not what they did. And even on the cross, our Lord and Savior had a heart of forgiveness and desired that you show even the most evil of people some grace. 
Father, it is not easy. And on a day like today, I am reminded so personally of how the enemy can and will use any available vessel he can to hurt your people in order to plant seeds of offense, anger, hurt, unforgiveness, and bitterness. The enemy knows unforgiveness toward another blocks our blessings. It causes you to turn your face from us. So even now, I repent of the anger in my heart regarding the situation that happened this morning. I repent of my reaction to it. And I choose to forgive and release that individual into your hands. I pray for her salvation, her healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray those who are listening to this prayer right now would take some time to stop, pray and repent of unforgiveness and release the weight that they've been carrying around for far too long. You have called your church to walk light and burden free all the days of our lives. We do not have to carry around the baggage of unforgiveness. In Jesus' name, I pray these things. Amen. Scripture of the day is Luke chapter 6, verses 30 through 38. And it reads, Give to everyone who asks of you, and from him who takes away your goods, do not ask them back. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. But if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back, what credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners who to receive as much back. But love your enemies, do good and lend hoping for nothing in return and your reward will be great and you will be sons of the most high for he is kind to the unthankful and evil. Therefore be merciful just as your father also is merciful. Judge not and you shall not be judged. Condemn not and you shall not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you.